is Bob Belcher. Bob Belcher is a middle-aged father of three, but he's unlike any other sitcom dad. What is Bob Belcher? Although he's frequently annoyed, inconvenienced, and downright disappointed in his family, he never stops putting his family's needs before his own and often even before his business. It's the first honest thing you said all day. I'm Keisha and this is Keisha's Burgers where you can find all the latest Bob's Burgers news and all my thoughts on all things Bob's Burgers. Little mouth burger. So if you're interested in that, then please subscribe and like this video so I'll know to make more Bob's Burgers content. Spoiler alert, that's all you're gonna get. All right. Bob doesn't excel at most things in life, as he's well aware of. You fail at everything, and you're fat. You're not attractive, and you never were. My dad hates me. Not that again. The one thing he's good at, and usually does with confidence, is making burgers. I mean, that was the best burger I've ever had. The best burger you've ever had. This is the best burger I've ever had, Bob. Bob serves the best burger he's ever eaten. When we're first introduced to Bob in the first episode, and the very first scene, we really get a feel for just how struggling his business is, and for his relationship with his family. Big day today. It's our grand re-re-re-opening. Every year this weekend makes or breaks us. Who's farting? We also see him projecting some of that disappointment he has in his struggling business onto his children. You're all terrible at what you do here. Though he is quite harsh with the kids in the first episode, we also see a lot of compassion from Bob when he delivers a heartfelt speech to the crowd which does immediately get mistaken for a defense of cannibalism. Is he defending cannibalism? But we'll look past that. We often do see Bob take responsibility for his own actions, even if that's sometimes in the form of just downright bashing himself. But that's something that I find very different about Bob versus other sitcom cartoon sitcom dads. They don't usually take any responsibility for the mistakes that they make. Taking responsibility is the best way to be. Bob always takes responsibility, or for the most part he does, and he's actually quite self-aware. He does want to do right by his kids and his wife, and by his business, and by the people around him. He, he wants to do the right thing. I'm sorry, Tina, I'm trying. I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Something else that's a great feature with Bob is he's got a vivid imagination, which we find out stems from his childhood when he didn't have any toys. Brr, brr, die! Get back to work, Bob. He had to work in the restaurant with his dad he would make toys and make voices for them out of the random things that he would find around i had a bad childhood yeah i know we get a real feel for his imagination in the second episode in which he's trapped trapped inside the wall with coochie copy coochie copy coochie copy coochie copy nightlight and he creates a voice for coochie copy and thus the coochie copy character overall is born what did it be mr bob He's actually quite aggressive and even murderous at times. And I feel like that's Bob's way of getting that anger out without directly feeling those negative thoughts towards his family. He can do that through Coochie Kopi. Kill him. Shut up, Coochie. In this episode with Coochie Kopi, we think that he's creating this voice just for that reason that he's quote going nuts inside the wall but in fact this characteristic carries throughout the rest of the show and he uses his own voice to make voices for the objects and food around him constantly and it's it's his way of getting through the day and getting through the stress of life are you mad at me no oh burger you're cute we really don't know that much about Bob's childhood other than it being unpleasant and him having to work with his dad. We know that his mother died when he was very young and we also know that he probably had a better relationship with his mother and felt that she was supportive of him where his father was lacking in that way. I want to express myself in the kitchen and when I say that he makes this weird sound. <sighs> that sound! You know what? Get out! Bob's father, Big Bob, is depicted as always working and really not able to show affection towards Bob. He seems to be pretty good with his grandkids overall, but he doesn't know how to talk to Bob or show any form of aff affection. In fact, the only time that we see that Big Bob is actually really proud of his son is when they not only have a heart to heart, but when the kids find a newspaper from when the restaurant originally opened in Bob's basement. My dad saved it. Oh my God. And that just goes to show that he does love his son. He is proud of him, but he just doesn't know how to say it. It's tough without your mom around. 
You did great on your own. You should be very proud. You really think? Bob is literally the antithesis of his neighbor across the street, Jimmy Pesto, who doesn't make real food by Bob's standards and entices his patrons with gimmicks. You don't charge enough for your food. You have zero karaoke. And he's got a... Throughout the series, Bob has developed into a great husband, father, friend, and neighbor. He's still a terrible business owner, but I don't expect that to change at any point. He's by far my favorite cartoon dad, and he might be my favorite TV dad overall. He cares about his wife and his kids and the people around him, and he cares about being a good person. My lazy pants? Yes. He can be lazy, and he can be mean, but he always takes responsibility for his actions. And we all know that's the real way to satisfaction. The only thing that works in life is not being a jerk in life. Taking responsibility is the best way to be for you. If you have any character points that I missed on Bob that you think are really important and valid, then please leave them in the comments. If you want to see more Bob's Burgers related content, then subscribe to my channel because that's all you're going to get. All right. Bye.